and Infrastructure Committee. Congressman, welcome. We appreciate you being here. Uh, talk to me a little bit about your reaction to these continued developments and what Congress's role is going to be in this going forward. Well, I'm, I can't tell you the level of disgust that I have. When I just heard right now, listening to you, you folks, that Buttigieg is, doesn't know when he's going to come. He may come at some point in time. You're the Secretary of Transportation. People's lives have been disrupted and ruined. It's dangerous. It's chemicals. It's poison. Um, you know, and they do have and they do have problems. And frankly, we should all have every government agency there that needs to be there. FEMA, you know, we have money to spend on gender equity studies in, in Pakistan, but we don't have money to take care of our American people in an American town in America. There's something really, really wrong. And I am sick to death of it. Americans are tired of it. I am just so profoundly disappointed. Yes, we are going to have I think it was we go along, we're going to have hearings because there have been train crashes not only here. In this last week, we've had train crashes in South, serious ones in South Carolina. We've had derailments that have occurred in Detroit. We've had derailments that have occurred in Texas. I mean, we didn't have this all before. So what's going on? I mean, you know, it's amazing. Yeah. This new Joe Biden America, this new left wing America can't do any of the things right, whether it's our airports, whether it's traveling, whether it's shipping materials uh, across the country. We've constantly got problems. And the worst part of it is they constantly don't care. This is a joke to people, you to judge. When this all came out, he was telling jokes about balloons in the air because we had the balloon issue, which is something else that was mishandled. I'm tired of it. I'm really sick to death of it. Yeah. These people. We've, we've heard House Republicans divided over whether to impeach the Department of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. <laughs> what about the Transportation Secretary? Honestly, you know, I'm not just an impeachment guy. You know, I'm not like every time I don't like somebody or a different party, they should be impeached. This is a level of dysfunction that is so high that is causing so much harm. And I really think fits into what impeachment should be. I think absolutely Mayorkas, I mean, he's just a bold faced liar and has hurt, hurt, hurt this country beyond anything we'll recover for a long, long time with the millions upon millions of people he's let in, the drugs he's let in. It's the same thing with Buttigieg. How does a man say, yeah, I'm going to get there eventually, but I don't know when. And it's certainly not going to be right now. Damn it, get on a plane. You have resources there. So walk with the people, hug the people, tell them you're going to have the resources they need. Get FEMA there. I don't know. It's amazing to me. FEMA all of a sudden was able to do some things when, you know, President Trump was going to go. I mean, just recently, President Trump said, hey, I'm going to go there and give these people some consolation because they, they're, they're heartbroken. These are their homes. How can you be so cold hearted? Yeah. It's just. They're woke philosophies and nothing else. And like I said before, I don't and want to be repetitive. And Congressman, the EPA is really saying that the it. water, yeah, and the EPA is saying right now that the water in the area is safe to drink. Ohio's governor appeared on our air just yesterday echoing the, those statements. I want to play this for you. Take a listen. My question for you, Ohio governor, would you drink the water in East Palestine if a resident asked you to today? Are you comfortable with saying that you would drink that water? Oh, absolutely. Look, we've tested this water. Uh, all five wells that go into the village system are clear. Uh, absolutely, the water, the water is safe. Yeah. And at the same time, you have Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, who is in the region this week, um, understandably skeptical of the EPA's findings after showing the contaminants still present in those yeah. surrounding creeks. I mean, should residents feel safe right now to drink this water? Should they be trusting the EPA on this? Look, I'm going to tell you what I think. First of all, I'm with J.D. I think he's right. He's trying to take care of his people. Secondly, um, I'll tell you what, I'll take a ride there with you and we'll, we'll dip a cup in the water and, and we'll see if we really, you and I want to take a drink of that water. Sure. You know you don't. You know why I don't. You know yeah. the people that are working with you don't. Come on. This stuff can take time to get further in the well. 
my house, my whole system here where I live, I live in a rural area, works by well water. And well water is tricky. It's usually wonderful water, but it can contaminants can get in the ground and they don't always show up immediately when the accident first happens. Some of these wells are quite deep. So this is something that really requires not just a quick snap decision and not caring about these people. Because suppose we find out, you know, uh, a year from now or six months from now or even a few months from now, oh, you know, we didn't know it. Some of it did contaminate. It just took time. This is a cold and uncaring way to go about this. These are good American people. America first. We're doing all this stuff all over the world, spending billions of dollars, allowing people to pour into our countries and giving them money. No, I want to take care of those people in East Palestine. Finally, Congressman, I want to switch gears here for a moment. As you're aware, in recent weeks, Newsmax was deplatformed by a direct TV with the carrier removing us from their channel lineup. Well, essentially adding insult to injury, according to the Washington Examiner, a British-based think tank called the Global Disinformation Index has been uh, distributing blacklists of conservative news organizations to advertising companies, potentially costing the news outlets very large sums in advertising dollars. Newsmax, of course, is one of the conservative outlets that's mentioned on this blacklist, potentially providing further evidence of discrimination. <clears throat> we know that you're also a member on the House Judiciary Committee. Um, talk to me a little bit about how, how the committee plans to investigate this. Well, I'm pushing very hard, and I've spoke to Chairman Jordan. He agrees with me to have a hearing. We're at the point, as you know, we're going to be first going over to the border in Arizona. We'll be doing that in a few days. When we get back, uh, this is another that approach, and we're going to have a subcommittee meeting, which is an important meeting, on this and really discuss it and openly and fairly. We're losing our freedoms. I mean, everybody should watch this. This is not just, oh, this is so much, so much more than just Newsmax. Newsmax is a great outlet. I love it. But it's, it's, it's all the freedom of speech and what it encompasses it. It has to do with the Post. It has to do with other stations. It's, um, they all should be on. And we know that in America, we should have freedom of speech and everybody should be able to come to the table and talk about the issues. If we're not careful, we're going to lose that completely. And there will be only one central control. What does that sound like? I hate to say it. It sounds like communism. We're in the fight of our lives. And we all have to stand strong and really tell these people they can't do this. So I'm with you guys. And, you know, I spoke about Newsmax on the floor of the House. I will keep doing so. What's happening there is wrong. There's no reason you shouldn't be on. You're doing just fine. You're actually one of the better rated shows that's on. And it was the same thing. And it's, it's just, it, this is such bad stuff. And I'm, you know what, talking about being tired of things, I'm tired of this too. I'm tired of people yeah. who think they're elitist and better than we are taking our America away from us. Congressman Jeff Bandrew, we appreciate your support. Thank you. You have it. Thank you. Well, before we go, Newsmax continues to be blacked out in 13 million direct.